All right, everybody, we are at the AWS Management Console here. So let's learn how to create our first CodeStar project. And you're going to see that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be real quick and very straightforward. So in the search bar here in the AWS Management Console, I'm going to type in CodeStar. And then under services here, I'm going to go to CodeStar. Now, at this point, you can see here that you have the getting started page and it tells, you know, AWS CodeStar to quickly develop, build and deploy applications on AWS. Now, I do want to point this out here, everybody, that if you use AWS CodeStar, you will be deploying to AWS. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on projects here. And as you can see, I already have this one project here. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new project. And in step one here, you're going to see that you're going to choose a project template. Now, this is really cool. You have everything from Node, Python, ExpressJS, Go, a bunch of different things that you can use here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to number two here. And then we're going to choose the Python Flask application. They have two versions here, as you can see. You can either deploy it to an EC2 instance or you could deploy it to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Now, before we go ahead and do that, I just want to click on this drop down here under filter by AWS service, application type and programming language. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, we have three AWS services that are available for our application to be deployed with AWS CodeStar. First, we have Elastic Beanstalk, EC2 and Lambda. The application type, we have web application, web service, static website, Alexa skill and AWS config rule. And then if we scroll down to under programming languages here, we can see that there's a bunch of different options available for us. We got C Sharp, Go or Golang, HTML, Java, Node, PHP, Python, and Ruby. So this kind of covers, you know, a lot of what you may or may not be working on here. So they definitely do have you covered in terms of what programming language you can use. So coming back to the page here, we're going to click on Python Flask for AWS EC2. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on next. Now from here, we have a few different options, but let's start from the beginning. We have a project name. So let's call this Python cloud skills project course. Okay. And as you can see, the project ID is going to essentially take the project name, but it only allows between two and 15 characters. So it's going to cut it off there. So if you want to change that, you absolutely can to make it make a little bit more sense. Next, I'm going to go down to project repository and down here you can choose where you want your code to live. So do you want it to live in code commit inside of AWS, which is a Git repository system that you can use inside of AWS or you can use GitHub. So depending on which one you use, I'm assuming a lot of people that are watching this video either have a GitHub or maybe you want to set one up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose GitHub here. Now at this point, as you can see, to use a GitHub repository in CodeStar, create a connection. So if you don't already have a connection, what you can do is you can click connect to GitHub. And then at that point, it's just going to ask you for your GitHub username and your GitHub password. And then it's going to create a connection for you to AWS. Luckily, I already have a connection, well actually a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my test connection which is going to connect me directly to my admin turn DevOps GitHub repositories. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And as you can see, the repository owner is going to be my admin turn DevOps. That's my GitHub organization. And then my repository name, which is Python cloud skills project course. That's what's going to be created for us. So if I go ahead and I scroll down here, I have a few options. I can either make my repository public, AKA everybody can see it or I can make it private so nobody can see it except whoever I give access to. I'll go ahead and I'll keep it public just in case anybody wants to go through the GitHub repository in this video as you're going through it. That way you can just go and check it out. Next, I'm going to go to my EC2 configuration. Now remember, because we are deploying to an EC2 instance, we're going to have an EC2 configuration. So we could choose whatever instance type we want here, T2 micro that's in free tier. So we'll go with that. You could choose your VPC. So for example, I'm going to choose my cloud skills VPC, and then I'm going to choose my subnet and I'm going to throw it under my public subnet cloud skills in us East one a right. And then finally, of course, you're going to have to choose the key pair that you want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it as a default, but ensure that you choose a key pair that you want 
if you want to be able to SSH into the EC2 instance. And then I'm going to click next here. And then we can see all of the information here regarding our EC2 configuration, our project repository, the project details, the project template. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create project.